guys. I am here with this month's design team challenge. If you don't know, I have my own line of rubber stamps designed by me in my Etsy shop. I've also written a book in the last year. I've got a bunch of digital downloads you can buy, um, artwork for sale. I even have some of my Creative Jolt weekly prompts from my Facebook group um, available in a deck of cards that you can download and make the cards yourself. Um, for those of you who want that and aren't in the Facebook group. Anyway, so I'm here this month with my design team to um, show you my, some of the things you can do with my stamps. These, this is my um, storage binder where I keep all of my stamps that I've made. These are all the different sets. And I think I know which one I want to use. This is one of the original sets. This is number two. This is number one. It's what started it all. <laughs> all right, so I think we're gonna go back here to one of the older sets. This is set number six. And I'm gonna pull these two arrows off of here. There are these two arrows right here. And we're gonna set this aside. I've got some archival ink here. Um, for this, you really do want to use an ink that's waterproof. Stay, I use, usually use archival or um, stays on. And then you're going to need some tissue paper. This is just plain white gift tissue. Um, I also have this one that's kind of looks like pattern paper tissue. Now this gift tissue has a shiny side and a dull side. We're going to be working on the dull side. I'll be right back. Turn the camera on, everything starts dinging and mess, people start messaging me. That's always the way, right? So you of course can do a full sheet of tissue paper if you want. I tend to do squares about like this. Um, I just usually just do enough to do a page or a project or try out a new line of stamps. Um, you can do this in colors. I usually always use black or sepia. Um, you can use whatever color you want, like I said. Um, if you're going to do like I'm going to do, which is use it for collage, then you want the ink that you use to be waterproof. So I'm going to ink up our stamps. The nice thing about doing this and stamping an image on tissue paper is when you collage it, that the tissue paper almost completely disappears. You can also do this on deli paper if you have a supply of like old-fashioned typing paper. That would be cool. So I want to kind of do a I don't know, pattern here, let's see. So I'm inking it, up, inking it up pretty good and then pushing pretty hard. And it's coming out exactly the way I want. This is a fun way to get, you know, interesting, unique tissue paper to use in your artwork, you know, rather than just buying, buying it. You can get plain white tissue paper at your Dollar Tree or local dollar store, wherever that may be. Maybe you have a family dollar or a dollar general or something like that. Oops. So I'm doing these little pieces doesn't take too long. This is like a quarter a quarter of a sheet. And it doesn't really take more than that. And then you have something interesting to collage with, which I'm gonna do next in my small delusions journal. I'm gonna speed forward through the process and I'll be right back.
Okay, it's still wet, but there you go. It's just one example of many that are out there of using some of your tissue papers, um, especially the custom printed ones that you've created in your art journal, in your mixed media. So go out and get some plain tissue paper. Use some of that horde of rubber stamps you have laying around. And if you need some new designs to add to your collection, of course, mine are available in the Etsy shop. Maybe you don't have a hoard of stamps. Maybe you just have a few and you need to add to your collection. All right, that's it for today. I hope it gave you some great ideas. And I say hoard with all love and affection because <clears throat> don't tell anybody, but I have a hoard of stamps too, along with watercolor and a few other things. Oops. <laughs> All right. Go out there and have fun. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to order my stamps, join one of my Facebook groups, send me happy mail, email me a question, anything like that. All that info is in the description below. The most important thing, of course, is to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.